you're the new host mm -hmm. of the Danish final, shouldn't you be on the stage singing? <laughs> well, maybe I should, yes, but um, occasionally I do this uh, TV thing as well. I really love to make TV and I love to, to do the work within TV, so when I have the opportunity and it's right for me, I, uh, I always um, welcome it. And uh, this time Felix, my co-host, uh, called me and asked me if I wanted to, to be there together with him. And um, I thought it was uh, perfect timing for me to go on TV again. But you wouldn't rule it out if uh, somebody called you next year and said, would you sing my song? Yeah. No, I probably wouldn't. And actually they did ask me last year, but when you get an, an offer like that, you have to consider that there's a possibility to win. And mm. if you win, you have to pull out one year of your calendar to use, I mean, the time to use on the, the time after you're winning. And at that time, I had no time at all. I was very, very busy last year. And, and so far, I'm still very busy, <laughs> thank <Okay>. God. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, I don't know if, if the timing is right and it's a good song and I, I'm, I'm game, then it's all right, yeah. I think I remember something about you having some music school in Greenland, where you come from. Yeah. How's uh, things uh, going with that school? Uh, um, it was just actually last summer, just for two weeks, where we had a kind of a workshop for, for young okay. girls. And I had uh, 20 girls for two weeks, and we just rehearsed every day and had a lot of fun with singing, and ended up with a concert for their you know, families and mm. friends. And it was a great experience. I hope to do it more often, maybe just twice or three times a year. Because okay. it's very inspiring to them. Yes. And I keep yes, yeah, I got me. And I, I keep encouraging encouraging them to yes. to use singing to something. Yes. Over the years there's been a development in uh, in Eurovision. Moving from uh, the song into more stage performance. Do you have an opinion about that? Yeah, I know it's, it's I know it's TV, so you have to act. <laughs> it's not radio. Of course, it's all right that there's this show thing around it, but to me, it's more about the music and the singing. So for me, it's a little bit irritating actually that it's more about the show. Although the show is important and it's great to watch, it's still more about the music and the song and the melody and the person singing it to me. What's your over the year favorite international song? If you have one. <sighs> Good question. I don't know if I have one nowadays. I, I when I was smaller, I always liked the the parts where, where you know children like me were on. And I clearly remember a year where there was this Belgium girl and a, a, a boy from Israel, and they had actually they were in the same contest mm. many years ago. Many years ago, yes. And I've always liked them. Okay. I think it was a Shem Shem Elavi. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's it. <laughs> oh, she, she knows. She, uh, my photographer is the uh, yeah. red one. On that. <laughs> Sex appears. 86. Yes. <laughs> that was a good one. And she was cute. And we look forward to the show on Saturday. Of course, we can. Yes. Can you reveal a little bit the details on the stage or something like that? Ah, uh, well. <laughs> can we expect something uh, flamboyant? Yes. And a lot of water. And a lot of water. Yeah, it's kind. Of, it's kind of like the two contrasts. We okay. use them both a lot, and the stage is like the, the biggest ever in Danish history. Great for me, first time being a host. <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting. But um, so there's a lot of that. It's kind of the theme, and they use it in various ways. And it's very interesting. Okay, thank you for taking the time for this interview, and no best problem. of luck on Saturday. Thank you.